Mr. Howard, if you want to say anything. Yes, sir. I'm going to assume that that's your family back there in the back. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, sir. I want you to remember for the rest of your life how everybody on that side of this room is feeling right now. Mr. Chapman's family will never see him again. Your family will never see you again outside of the prison. Now, you and you alone are responsible for all of the grief that comes with that. You are responsible for every bit of anguish and agony that everybody on that side of the room feels, including your own family. If I live to be a thousand years old, son, I will never understand why it is that in this community we settle our differences with a gun to a greater extent than I see in a lot of other places. The only good thing about the coronavirus pandemic was that I got a year off from having to sit in this room and look at dead bodies on that screen and young men at that table who had killed them. For years, I do it all the time. And it's depressing and it's sad and I don't understand. Two lives have been thrown away. Yours and Mr. Chapman. And two families will never be the same. All because of the choice that you made. And it's a choice that way too many people make around here. Son, it's a sad day in this room for everybody in it. And Mr. Schoolcraft is right. Sending you to the penitentiary may not stop the next guy or the one after that or the one after that. But word needs to get out. We're back in business down here. I can't stop you or can't stop other people from killing people, but I can stop you from doing it again in this time. And that's what I aim to do, so. That's all. Yeah. Yeah.